In 2021 and 2023, two almost dark galaxies were found. AGC 229101, within the Alfalfa Survey, and NUB, found within the IAC Stripe 82 Legacy Project. They were the closest things we had found to a true dark galaxy, but both still have stars inside. Now, in 2024, the situation has changed, with the accidental but profound discovery of an object known as J0613 plus 52. Perhaps the first true dark galaxy ever spotted. The accident was laughable in retrospect. As part of a survey of neutral hydrogen gas of known low-surface brightness galaxies, three different telescopes, the National Science Foundation's Green Bank Telescope, the Arecibo Telescope, and the Nanke Radio Telescope in France, were used to point at and measure the hydrogen within about 350 independent galaxies. When analyzing the collected data, a discrepancy emerged. One of the galaxies showed wildly inconsistent data between the data collected from Green Bank and the data collected from Nanke. Upon closer inspection, it turned out that there was an error in the source catalog used for pointing, and the Green Bank telescope was, perhaps unceremoniously, pointed at entirely the wrong region of sky. A region only notable for its unremarkable nature, with no known nebulae or extragalactic sources within it. And yet, there was a signal coming from part of that region. The circles in white, above, indicate regions where no signal was found, indicating the, expected, absence of neutral hydrogen. But in the colored regions, there was neutral hydrogen found, with the line thickness indicating the strength of the observed signal. Where colors are seen, the redder colors indicate where this hydrogen appears to be moving away from us, while the bluer regions indicate where this hydrogen appears to be moving relatively toward us. Perhaps a likely indication that this clump of matter is rotating. When we turn these into quantitative numbers, it turns out the inferred rotational speeds are actually quite large, and even comparable to speeds found within the Milky Way. At around 200 km per second. The clump of gas must be quite distant, estimated at around 270 million light-years away, and also with a large amount of neutral hydrogen within it. Between 1 and 2 billion solar masses worth of gas found inside. As you can see, below, from the bump feature found in the colored circles where a neutral hydrogen signal has been detected, there really does appear to be something real found in this region of space, as opposed to elsewhere. A true dark galaxy? But unlike both of the near-dark galaxies found, as well as many of the low-surface brightness and the vast majority of ultra-diffuse galaxies, not only is there no detectable optical counterpart found in any survey that's looked at this region of the sky, but there are no nearby galaxies to this cloud of gas at all. Not for hundreds of millions of light-years. This is a puzzle. Massive low-surface brightness galaxies are thought to be formed through the interaction or infall of two smaller galaxies. Ultra-diffuse galaxies, particularly the ones rich in hydrogen gas, can be created through mergers, infall into a larger group or galaxy, or the gravitational effect of tidal stripping. All of these mechanisms involve an interaction with a nearby, massive neighbor. And yet, this dark cloud of massive amounts of hydrogen gas, J0613 plus 52, appears to be incredibly isolated. This object, if it has any stars, must be incredibly faint, and even for the largest telescopes, it may take tens or even hundreds of hours of observing time to reveal if there are faint, unseen companions nearby. Small populations of stars within it that just have not been revealed yet or the presence of other elements and compounds, such as carbon monoxide molecular gas. However, this gas is not only definitively there. There's an awful lot of it. Isolated and diffuse, but pristine? This is a huge open question. Can such a large mass of gas remain in a diffuse, uncollapsed state for so long? Perhaps, even for all 13.8 billion years that our universe has experienced, going all the way back to the start of the hot Big Bang? In most cases, clouds will accumulate enough matter to collapse, and when they do, 
they'll trigger the first burst of star formation in that region of space, polluting the interstellar medium from the detritus of the first stars to die, creating a bevy of enriched elements that leave a telltale spectroscopic signature behind, rich in oxygen, carbon, and other heavy elements. If J0613 plus 52 truly is a pristine galaxy, then when we take deep enough observations to reveal whatever background galaxies and quasars are present along this line of sight, we'll be able to perform what's known as absorption spectroscopy. Looking at the light from background objects that filters through and gets absorbed by the intervening gas. This type of deep optical slash infrared imaging can reveal the presence or absence of these heavy elements, the presence or absence of carbon monoxide, the presence or absence of any stars inside, and can tell us whether we truly have an undisturbed, very slowly evolving galaxy right here in the local universe. A window into the cosmic unknown. It's important to note that even if it turns out that there is some faint population of stars inside this object, it truly does represent a window into the cosmic unknown. We have never before found a dark, or even an almost dark, galaxy that was so isolated from all other cosmic structures at such late times in the universe, nor one with such large amounts of fast-moving neutral hydrogen gas within it. The three approaches taken to follow up on this object should be to perform deep, multi-wavelength imaging of this region of sky with other instruments. To follow up with a larger aperture, higher resolution radio telescope to better map out the gas in this object. And to perform a high resolution, systematic survey of the entire sky, searching in earnest to see if there are any other dark galaxies, or dark galaxy candidates, out there. We know that these types of structures were far more common in the early universe, and likely describe some of the first structures that formed beyond even the current reach of GWST. If we want to understand what existed at the earliest times in our universe's history, the best thing we can do is to find the closest local analog systems and study them in gory detail. With the discovery of J0613 plus 52 now in hand, the next scientific steps will provide a window into our cosmic past that astronomers have never had access to before.